Today, I'm going to rebuild the Dallas Cowboys after watching week one, game one, Dallas Cowboys versus Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The offense looks great, aside from one person, not naming anybody, but you could probably figure it out. But on defense is where we have to do a ton of work. The corners looked awful. I understand it against Tom Brady and the Bucs, and you have Evans, Godwin, Brown, Gronk, Scotty Miller, OJ Howard, Cameron Brait. All kinds of weapons. The linebackers did not look that great. Micah Parsons, I understand he's a rookie, but he didn't look that great last night. Not good in coverage whatsoever. We have to work on safeties, defensive tackles. Eventually, Randy Gregory will have to get replaced, but Demarcus Lawrence looked good for whatever that's worth. So let's get into it. Let's go to the midseason mark. I should also mention that I made Tampa Bay win week one, so we don't have to worry about that. We are going to start at 0-1, and we're going to see where the season takes us. Yikes. We are 2-4 and four at the midseason mark. Football team 5-2, and two, that makes a ton of sense. But behind the Eagles at 3-4, and four, there's almost no chance. Giants 2-5. and five. I have a lot of questions. Now, we know Van Der Esch is going to be a free agent. He's gone. Michael Gallup, we're going to let him walk out the door as well. I do like Malik Hooker. Do we bring him in, though? I think we will. Randy Gregory, we're going to wait on. Kazi, we're going to wait on. Keanu Neal, we're definitely going to wait on. I think we're just so set on like at linebackers that I don't think we really need Keanu Neal all that much. I know we could play safety if we wanted him to, but I'm not really interested in that. So let's go to the playoffs. I can't imagine we're going to make it being two and four, but maybe they'll surprise us. I don't know. Really? We won our division at 10 and seven and we lost week 18. So we won eight straight and the loss to the Eagles who went eight and nine who were above us. That's interesting. That's very interesting. The Panthers went 11 and six. The Bucks first round by the Browns first round by Chiefs three seed. The Pats made it. I like that. Anybody else? The Lions made the playoffs. The Packers didn't. The Vikings didn't. What are we talking about? How did the Lions make the playoffs? It's going to be something stupid now that I think about it. I am going to check them out in a second. But Prescott, 5,000 yards, 31-14. Awesome. I was really impressed with him week one against the Bucks. It was awesome to watch. I also bet the over two and a half touchdowns for Brady. So the more points the Cowboys could score, the better. But, you know, Elliott, 12 in the yard, 17 touchdowns is awesome. I don't think he's going to get anywhere close to that this season. 11 for Pollard. CeeDee Lamb, 14 in the yards, nine touchdowns. He looked great last night. 1,300 for Cooper, seven touchdowns, same thing. Gallup, 803 with five. Elliott with five. Schultz with three. On defense, Lewis, 92 tackles. Wilson, 92 tackles. Lawrence, I assume, yes, nine sacks, six and a half for Randy Gregory. Interceptions, two for Neal, two for Johnny, not Johnu Smith. What am I talking about? Jalen Smith, one for Kennedy, one for Trayvon Diggs. Let's go to the Lions. I ha it's going to be Kaepernick, almost guaranteed, right? No. Then what happened that their Williams went off? Uh, yeah, there's no chance. No chance they should have done what they did. Fourth at offensive yards, made the playoffs. Like, what are we talking about? Mahomes MVP. We have nothing up there, but that's all right. I'm kind of surprised Dak's not up here, to be honest. Coach Dear Stefanski, we are in number six, which is good. NFC offensive player, Dak has to be up here now. He, oh no, that's Elliott at eight. Dak's at 10, though. Defensive player, Aaron Donald, of course. Not a big surprise there. Offensive rookie, can't imagine we have anything. No, you saw Smith, you saw Lance up there. Davis, defensive rookie of the year. Parsons at five, which is good. I'm not even going to try to say that name. So the only hidden development player we have is Parsons, but Prescott has one, Elliott has five, Cooper with two, CeeDee Lamb with five. I think he's going to have a great, great year this year. One for Demarcus Lawrence, three for Parsons with star developments, good, two for Hooker, two for Jordan Lewis, Trayvon Diggs with one. Yikes. All right, let's upgrade the team, and then we'll play the Panthers. And when I say play the Panthers, I mean we're going to simulate past the Panthers, and I assume beat the Panthers pretty handedly. Nope, we lost 36 to 14. Is it Sam Darnold? It is, and he didn't have a touchdown. Prescott played awful. McCaffrey touchdown, Elliott one, Hubbard two. Okay. Eifert, I didn't even know he was on that team. Touchdown for Cooper. What a weird game. How did they score 36? That doesn't add up. It definitely doesn't add up. 36 with three rushing touchdowns. So a lot of field goals. I guess that means what? So that'd be 21, 24, 27, 30, 30. So five field goals. 
Pretty good, I guess. And then the Panthers won the Super Bowl, beating the Browns 28-6. to That almost makes me want to bet on them against the Jets, but I'm so uncertain about Sam Darnold. I really am. So we lost our left tackle and our backup tight end. Not concerned about that. Ryan Fitzpatrick's gone. Jason Kelsey's gone. Interesting. But I'm really not concerned about Michael Gallup, Van Der Esch leaving, Granny Gregory leaving, Kazi leaving, Keanu Neal leaving. I would like to bring back Connor Williams. That's for sure. We do not have any money. Why? Who could I even get rid of that we could, like, nobody? It would probably be an offensive lineman, but I don't want to get rid of an offensive lineman. I guess it is what it is. We're not going to bring back Connor Williams. That's unfortunate. He's my guy, but it is what it is. There are a lot of great players still left on the board. I have a few players on my draft board we'll check out in a second, but check out these quarterbacks. Elton Price looks fantastic. And Kerry Sharp looks fantastic. I know we don't need a quarterback. I just wanted to show you. So there's two defensive tackles. There's a right end. And we lost Randy Gregory. So I think the way I'm going to end up going is Gerald Gilmore. And then maybe trade up into early second round to get one of these other two guys if we can. So let's start out. Let's get Gilmore. He's a 79. Normal development. Rank number one. Doesn't make any sense. 89 power moves. 60 finesse. 83 speed. 85 acceleration. How? Number one ranked player, normal development. It just uh, blows my mind. The defensive tackle I wanted to get is gone. And the other defensive tackle I wanted to get is gone. There is a lot of great players still left on the board at the 21st pick in the second round. But I almost want to go with the center over everything else. Even though it might be a bad idea. But we don't really need a middle linebacker all too much. The safety, Felcher, or Fulcher, Fulcher, sorry. I, 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 Fulcher looks good. But I just, I want to make the offensive line a little bit better. So we're going to go Randy Tiller, the center. He's a 72 hidden development. That's a great, great pick. Oh, he looks like an absolute beast. Oh, everybody else is gone. That's unfortunate. I'm going to take Chris Barton. I know we have, what is it, Collins and we have Smith. So we don't really need a tackle, but we could put him at guard if we wanted to. 70 hidden development. All right, offensive line is set for the rest of this video. Love it. Even though Zach Martin's getting up there in age. And Smith. So we might have to find one more player, but I think we're good. Ooh, we got CD Lamb up the superstar. 86 overall. I love to see that. We have Barton. We have Tiller starting the offensive line. So a great, great, great offensive line. Not so much for the tight end, but we still have Elliott and Amari Cooper. So we should be good with Dak Prescott. Gilmore is starting. And then really the defense looks exactly the same. And I don't love that. The corners are still bad. Couldn't really find anything in the draft, which is unfortunate. We're just going to have to wait and see, I guess. Because even Bonds at left outside linebacker, that's really not that good. Wonder, actually, we couldn't bring back Keanu Neal, now that I think about it. I was going to say, maybe we should have brought him back and then moved people around, but we couldn't do that. So, it is what it is. Let's go to the playoffs. So, at the midseason, which is what I meant to say, we're 4-3 tied with the Eagles, which that could happen, I suppose. They have a bunch of first-round picks. I still kind of doubt it, but there's potential. Football team 2-5, and five, I don't get. The Giants 1-5. and five. They still have Daniel Jones. That makes a ton of sense. The offensive line doesn't look that great. Now, I like Tony Pollard a lot, but whether you're paying Elliott so much money, it just doesn't make sense to bring him back so he can go. Zerline, he can go. He's getting up there in age. Anthony Brown, we're going to wait on. Tristan Hill, I think I would like to bring back. Uh, maybe not. We do not have a ton of money, which is kind of expected. McGovern... I'm actually not going to bring anybody back. We're going to wait on Anthony Brown. We're going to wait on Hill. And then Pollard's just gone. He's out the door. Goodbye. This game makes no sense. The Giants were 1-5, and five, and then they win the division at 9-8. and eight. It just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. We went 8-9, and nine, tied with the Eagles, the football team 7-10. and 10. How does that happen? That's really all I want to know. If someone can explain that to me, I'd love you to. The Colts first round bye. I did a Colts rebuild the other day, and there's no chance. We even come close to that happening, I guess I should say. 49ers first round bye. Bucks made it. Packers, Vikings, Seahawks, Giants, we know. Panthers. I hope they make it after just winning the Super Bowl. Because you can only go up from there, right? Especially with that roster. Very young roster. Prescott, 4,600 yards is good. 38 touchdowns is good, but 17 interceptions. I don't like that even a little bit. Elliott, 1,500 yards, 17 touchdowns. That's why they pay the big bucks. At least in Madden. Cooper, 1,000 with 7 is awesome. Lamb, 1,000 with 9 is awesome. Elliott, 700 with 3. We'll take that. Pahoko, 662 with 5. I guess that's how you'd say that. Jalen Smith, 112 tackles. 112 for Anthony Brown. 
I still don't know if he's worth bringing back. 15 sacks for Demarcus Lawrence is awesome. Six for Parsons. Where is the rookie? This isn't good. Did I go buy him? I must have went by him. Okay. It was Gilmore. Oh, I went by it. My bad. Three sacks, 62 tackles. Not that bad. Interceptions, three for Joseph, three for Lewis, two for Cox, Wilson, Diggs, Anthony Brown, and one for Malik Cooker. Where six in offensive yards didn't make the playoffs. McCaffrey MVP, Mahomes, Brady, Josh Jacobs. Donald's up there. Kamara, Rogers, Elliott at number eight. I like seeing that. Coach of the Air, Kyle Shanahan. NFC Offensive Player, Elliott at 6. Prescott at 10. Defensive Player, Khalil Mack. There's Lawrence at 4, which is awesome. Hicks is up there. Chandler Jones is up there. Offensive Rookie, Kerry Sharp. That was one of the quarterbacks we looked at on the Saints. Must be nice. He's an 84 overall. Pretty good, I would say. Defensive Rookie. Oh, no, we have Gilmore. That's right at 8. So we have the two hidden development in the offensive line, and then I want to see what Gilmore got for XP. So they both have start development, but five XP for Tiller, seven for Barton is huge, four for CD Lamb, two for Prescott, four for Elliott, two for Cooper, and then Gilmore has two. Gets him up to an 81 overall, but that's not great. We have to find corners. We need left outside linebacker. That's really going to be our only focus. I might trade up in the draft potentially if there's like a home run corner. I'm going to have to see. The Denver Broncos took down the 49ers 24-21. Von Miller, Super Bowl MVP. Didn't he win it the last time they won? Because they didn't, definitely didn't give it to Peyton Manning, I don't think. I guess we can find out. It was, in fact, Von Miller. See, I know things. Brandon Graham is gone, but we didn't lose anybody, which is good. But take a look at this. Aaron Rodgers out the door, no longer in Green Bay, not even a free agent. Now, for own free agents, what was it? Anthony Brown and then Tristan Hill. Brown is up to start of element, but we have basically no money. Oh, Hill's up to start of element. You know what? I don't think he's going to take this offer. We don't even have that much money. I'm going to franchise tag him. Why not? Now, I have the 15th overall pick, and the only corner I'm willing to trade up for is Brandon Spillman. And we're not going to trade up to pick one, of course, because there are a few quarterbacks up there. The Lions should take a quarterback right here. But maybe if he gets to like eight or nine, then maybe we'll trade up. Jonathan Decker is gone. Pat's number two. They made the playoffs last year. Brian Bloom to the Oakland. Oh, Las Vegas Raiders. My bad. Right tackle. I'm thinking. I, I don't even know if we need to trade up. I know I'm going to regret that. The Lions just had another pick, by the way. Brian Austin. Stalker. The Bears shouldn't take a quarterback. The Jags shouldn't take a corner. That's not the one I wanted. Okay, but I'm not going to risk this any longer. I'm going to trade our first round pick, of course, along with a three and a four to trade up four picks. That might be a little much. I'll give you that. But if this corner could be a slam dunk number one guy, I won't regret it even a little bit. So let's go take him. Brandon Spillman. 76 normal. You're out of your mind. Out of your mind. I'd like to say he looks good. He has 67 zones, 72 man. I got to do a little bit of this, try to figure it out. He's all right, but I mean, normal kills me. Now, here's the debate. There's two safeties, number one talent, number first round talent, I should say. But there's Middleton, a corner, late first, but we don't have a third or fourth round pick. So will he last that long? I want to say yes. So what I'm going to do is actually take Tyron Judge, the safety, 75 hidden development. Okay, that's a home run. I just really need that corner to be there. And I don't want to go pick by pick. So what I'm actually going to do is go to the fourth round and then go from there. He is still on the board. I'm going to go ahead a few picks. I think he actually might still just be there in the fifth round. But I don't know if he'll be there at the 15th pick in the fifth round. That's the problem. Oh, he's gone to the Jaguars of all teams. Really? So we are an 85 overall team. The offense is exactly the same. I love how Tiller and Barton are coming along, which is great. Then on defense, Judge is star number one safety. Spillman's the number two corner. Vaughn's is still starting a left outside linebacker. Not much I can do about that. Spillman being normal development is such a letdown, though. Like a crazy, crazy letdown. Let's go to the midseason. Two and five. As a 91 overall team, what are you talking about? The Eagles are 5-2. Five Fine. They have a bunch of draft picks. Football team, 3-3. Three and three. Sure. Giants, 2-4. I'm sure that'll flip around. The thing is, we were what? Year 1. 2-5. and five, Then we made the playoffs. Last year, the Giants were 1-5. and five, Made the playoffs. So, it's not completely crazy that we could still make it. 
There's a lot of people I want to bring back, and I'm sure we don't have the money for it, do we? Or we do. All right, I am going to bring back Tyron Smith, C.D. Lamb, Demarcus Lawrence, probably Lewis, definitely Diggs, Gallimore, definitely. And then probably Hill, if I'm being honest. And we don't make the playoffs. Love it. We're 9-8. and eight. Football team and Eagles 10-7. and seven. And The Giants 6-11. and 11. The Giants are awful, apparently. Sometimes they're good. Most of the times, they're awful. I guess that's kind of like real life. Prescott, 4,500 yards, 31-16. and 16. He's going down. I don't like that. Like, why is that happening? He has good receivers. Elliott's getting about 1,800 yards, 16 touchdowns. That's incredible. Cooper, 1,200 yards, 9 touchdowns. Fajoko, 934 with 10. CeeDee Lamb, 900 yards, 2 touchdowns is good. Elliott with 7. Elliott might be MVP. He really might. On defense, Smith, 117 tackles. Sack totals, 11 for Lawrence, 10 for Gilmore is big. Interceptions, 3 for Diggs, 2 for Smith, 2 for Hooker. Bonds with one for some reason. Where are the players I drafted? There's Spillman, 87 tackles. There's Judge, 78 tackles. But neither of them had an interception. So, don't know what you're doing out there. I'd like you to do something productive for the team. McCaffrey MVP, but Elliott is at three, which is awesome. Of course, we're not going to have Prescott up there. Urban Meyer wins it, it seems, every single year. Offensive player, Elliott at two, of course. Prescott, nowhere to be found. Defensive player, Aaron Donald, big surprise. But Gilmore at six. Why is Lawrence not up there? That's unusual. Offensive rookie, nothing. Defensive rookie. Okay, we have Judge at Spillman, eight and nine. I was going to say, if neither of them are up there, I have a lot of questions. I understand 87 tackles, 78 tackles isn't like crazy good. But it should be good enough to get in the top 10 for defensive rookie of the year, in my opinion. So we have 3 XP for Tiller, 4 for Barton, 3 for CeeDee Lamb, 3 for Elliott. It doesn't matter, though. Judge with Superstar, 6 XP will be an 80. Spillman with 2 will be a 78. I wish he could have been, like, Superstar or X Factor. It would have been huge. By the way, I used all my staff points on all the trades. And then head coach, I used it for player growth. So we can have for safeties, of course. Defensive line linebackers, corners. I think that's more important than the offense. The offense is pretty set for the rest of this rebuild. We have to find another corner, so let's find an outside linebacker. And I guess a tight end, technically. Technically, maybe a number three receiver, but I think we're good for now. Maybe Tyron Smith or uh, Zach Martin retires, which is a possibility. But other than that, I think we're good. The Cincinnati Bengals beat the 49ers 21-14. to Joe Burrow, Super Bowl MVP. The 49ers just can't get the job done ever. Ever when they're in the Super Bowl. When's the last time they won the Super Bowl? That must have been... Oh, God. That was a long time ago, right? I can't even remember. Do we have... Oh, Trent Williams is gone. Mario Davis, Cameron Jordan. I don't want to see if there's anybody from our team, though. We lost the punter. Oh, no. But Lane Johnson, Brandon Brooks. That's a rough offseason. Now, I brought back everybody I said I was going to other than Tristan Hill. So, really, that's... Oh, nope, I don't want Baidez, or however you say his name. I know that's probably not how you say it, but that's how I would say it. Don't have a ton of money, but that's all right. Maybe we'll dip our toe in free agency a little bit, find a little bit of an older corner to help out Spillman, Trayvon Diggs. I don't think we have Jordan Lewis anymore, but, you know. We still do have Jordan Lewis, by the way. I'm just an idiot. Also, by the way, you see Marcus Peters, J.K. Oh, J.K. Dom's already went down. Um, Gus Edwards, both tore their ACL the same day. That's a lot of... Uh, a lot of injuries for that team. And I wanted to go for Kenneth Murray, by the way, but we didn't have enough money to do it. He might go to the Saints, which is a problem. I don't know how they have the money. I guess they have a rookie quarterback. But if we can get Marcus Peters on this team, which we can, that makes me feel really good about this team. Let's go to the draft. So we have the 18th overall pick, and Russell Griffith is just sitting here. So we're taking him. 78, awesome. Ranked number eight, hidden development. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So really, I think our defense is set now. Now, there is a tight end here that should be here in the second round, and I'm desperately, desperately hoping he is. I don't understand how a computer-generated class don't have faces. How, how does that work? The tight end's gone. Come on. Actually, what is this? I don't even know Fowler. 4-4-2. Four, four, is that it for first-round talents? Nothing fell? I guess we'll take a chance on J.J. Gray, the tight end. 73 normal. That's not awful. In the fourth round, I got middle linebacker Cole Brown, who's a 67 overall, which is not great, but hidden development is really good. It almost makes me want to trade Jalen Smith. I'm not going to, but I kind of want to. I don't know how to explain it. You have the rookie start. Jalen Smith's 29 years old, so we can kind of get rid of that contract a year early. 
I don't think it's the worst idea in the world. I don't even know what's left of the fifth round, by the way. I was looking at a few players. There's nothing that's like a slam dunk, so we're just going to take a random shot in the dark. Let's get another middle linebacker. Wow. So I believe we have this year and next year left. We're an 87 overall team with almost no weak points. You could say number three receiver or tight end. I'll give you that. Offensive line, 80s or above, which is fantastic. Prescott's 91, Elliott 98, Cooper 96, Lamb 93. Really no weak points. And even on defense, well, you could argue maybe Jalen Smith, but he's good enough at middle linebacker that I think he'll be fine. Even Gilmore's up to star development, which is awesome. Spillman didn't go up, which is unfortunate. But like I said, no real weak points. We have our rookie left outside linebacker in Griffith. I think, really, we should walk into the playoffs. Maybe I'll be wrong. Maybe. But we should walk in. Let's go to the midseason, see what we're looking at, and then we'll go from there. So we're not in first place. We're in second place behind the football team who are 5-1. and 4-3, and three, though, not a bad spot. We could still easily make the playoffs, even though we're playing against the 5-2 and two Cleveland Browns. So I am a little concerned about that. Mari Cooper we're going to bring back. Zach Martin we're going to bring back. Prescott we're going to bring back. Collins. Peters can go. Hooker will bring back. Parsons would definitely bring back. I'm actually going to work on that first. We have $131 million. Okay. I'm going to do most of this off screen because it's just going to be all just basic contracts. If somebody does turn us down, though, I will show you. Even Kelvin Joseph, I think I'll bring back as well. Good, 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 good. We won our division at 10 and 7. Football team 8 and 9. Eagles 8 and 9. The Giants 7 and 10. Playing against the Cardinals, who are an 83 overall team. Chiefs first round by. Texans made the playoffs. Bears, I know Bears isn't that crazy. Vikings probably at this point is kind of crazy. They're number two or even the playoffs at all. Yeah, that's kind of actually really crazy because Kirk Cousins must be gone, which means they just picked up a quarterback immediately and went on a nice little run. Prescott, 4,800 yards, 30 and 10. I love those stats. That's awesome. Elliott, 1,500 yards, 17 touchdowns. I just don't think he's going to do that well in real life. I don't know. Fahoko, 1,300 yards, 9 touchdowns. Cooper, 1,000 with 10. Lamb, 906 with 5. Lamb's kind of getting the short end of the stick. I don't like that. Jalen Smith, 106 tackles, 104 for Judge. Sack totals, 12 for Lawrence, 10.5 for Parsons, 6 for Gilmore, 6 for Gallimore. Griffith with a half, 49 tackles. That's not that great. Three interceptions for Lewis and Cox, two for Judge, Peters, Diggs, one for Smith, and one for Jamal Northcutt. Our offense has been top 10 every single year. McCaffrey MVP again. No Elliott? Huh. And that's kind of unusual to me. Coach of the year, Urban Meyer again. There we are at five. NFC offensive player, Elliott has to be up here now. There's he's at nine, but no Dak Prescott either. Defensive player, Khalil Mack, nothing. Offensive rookie, Gray at three. That's a receiver I picked up. Or no, that's the tight end. Sorry. Right? I think so. Defensive rookie of the year, nothing. A lot of Panthers. A lot of Panthers. What is that? I mean, look at Tiller and Barton. They just keep going up. 3 XP, 3 XP. They're both going to be 84s. Lamb with 3, Gray with 3. Oh, I drafted Potts. That's who I was thinking of. Nothing crazy for him, though. What? I pressed B by accident, but how don't we know? I'm going to use my stat points. We're going to find out what he is. How does he play a whole season? We're like, what are we talking about? Let's go down here. We want... Could find out Brown as well, but we're not going to do that. We'll just do Griffith. See what it is. Give me something good. Star development. What a letdown. But this four for Brown is the number four middle linebacker. That almost has to be superstar. Probably won't be, but judge with five. Spillman with two. Can we take down the 10 and seven Arizona Cardinals with DeAndre Hopkins, who has 75 catches, 964. A little low for him. We did beat them though, 35 to 14. Now playing the 49ers who have made, what, like two of four Super Bowls so far or two or three Super Bowls. We beat them 23-21. Doesn't make me feel super good. And then to make it to the Super Bowl, we have to beat the 9-8 and eight Chicago Bears. Should be easy enough. Can't get the job done. We lost 38-21. to 21. I was going to say, it's Justin Fields not the quarterback, but he is. 272-1, Prescott 242-1. Montgomery, two touchdowns. They have Tony Pollard. Of course they do. Of course they do. Robinson, Komet, Elliott touchdowns, Potts touchdowns. Then they have defensive touchdowns. They almost had to. I never, ever, ever understand how they get to these many points. It doesn't make any sense. So the Bears did end up winning the Super Bowl. That's nice to see. They beat the Cowboys 20-7. to Justin Fields, Super Bowl MVP. You know Chicago wants that so, so bad. So I hope that happens someday. I don't want them to beat my Cowboys, but I hope it happens someday. We didn't lose anybody that matters so far in this rebuild. 
that's huge when you have Tyron Smith and Zach Martin in the offensive line. You could even see maybe Demarcus Lawrence retiring. I know it didn't happen, but you never know with this game. I guess is the best way to put it. We're going to wait on Marcus Peters. Yeah, do we wait on Marcus Peters? Never mind. I don't think I am going to wait on Marcus Peters because that should be a done deal. Okay, maybe not. Be big time, you know? But Hoko, you got to bring back at this point. Up to start of Elm, it's going to be basically free. I don't even know who this is, to be completely fair. And that is it. The more I look at free agency, I don't want to make any offers other than the Mike Kelton, who's a scheme fit. Like, there's Fletcher Cox we could do. There's all kinds of offensive linemen, but we're fine. Aaron Dolan, we're not going to bring in, even though there'll be a lot of fun. And Joe Mixon, we're not going to bring in, even though we could. You know what? Let's just have some fun in the final year. I'm going to try to bring in Joe Mixon as our potential backup to Ezekiel Elliott. 122 points. Does beat the Packers. This is a franchise mode, man. Very slow, very chunky, chugging along. I don't get it. It should be running well, playing on an Xbox Series X, but I guess not. We got both of them. That's perfect. Let's go to our final draft. There's really not much we need, so I've been looking around. Pick number 29. I'm going to take Carrera, the strong safety. Maybe he's better than Hooker. We put him at free safety, but that's what I'm going to do. 77 overall, hidden development. Kind of crazy. He's still, still there, but he's an awesome player. Now the real debate. I know that we have, I forget the name of the middle linebacker we took last year who I've hidden, but he was a 67 overall. But I love Leonard Pittman because he looks great, no combine grade. Add him to the team, 78 hidden development. Jalen Smith is gone in his final year. Looks like an absolute beast. So as of right now, we're an 89 overall team with the 93 offense and an 85 defense. Now what I'm going to do is trade away Jalen Smith like I've been saying. Oh, Brown had star development, by the way. And probably Malik Cooker and try to get ourselves a tight end. Or maybe a number one corner. I don't know. I think we might be able to move those two players, get ourselves a good player. What? We don't feel we can afford to move a player at position right now. What does that mean? So I guess I just can't trade away Jalen Smith for some reason. So we got Mike Kosicki on the team. I tweeted at Swami saying, what the fuck is this? So maybe we'll get an answer. We'll figure out what it is. That'd be nice. So we're just going to let him sit on the bench. That's fine. Herrera's starting at free safety. I mean, this team's loaded. Top to bottom, every single position, and now especially with Mike Kosicki on the team, we should walk into the playoffs. So we didn't win our division at 12-5. and five. The Eagles did it 12-5. and five. We're playing them week one in the playoffs, wild card playoffs. Football team 10-7 and seven probably made it as well. And the Giants 6-10, and 10, or 6-11, and 11, sorry. Did the football team did make it the seven seed? We're the five seed. Jaguars, Buccaneers, first round by. Very interesting. Let's see how Dak did now with another weapon. Actually, I guess all kinds of weapon. Joe Mixon's on the team. Really? 4,100 yards. Okay, a little bit of a drop off, but 39 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. Love it. Elliott, 600 yards, 12 touchdowns. Mixon, 700 with 12. Lamb, 1,100 yards, 12 touchdowns. Foco. Or Fahoko, sorry, 1,000 with 5. Cooper, 785 with 8. Mixon, 2. Gasicki, 5. On defense, Jalen Smith, 104. Why? 94 tackles for Pittman. Sack totals, 11 for Parson. 10.5 for Lawrence. 7 for Gilmore. Interceptions, 4 for Hilton. 2 for Pittman. 2 for Lewis. I mean, Pittman's probably going to be Defensive Rookie of the Year, 6666. That's a little concerning. 6 in the NFL. <laughs> really concerning. MVP, we have Elliott at 5. No Dak Prescott, coach of the year. We're at three behind the Eagles, behind the Jaguars. Offensive player, Elliott at five. Prescott at 10. Defensive player, Khalil Mack. Offensive rookie. I don't think we drafted anything. Actually, no, I guess we did. I don't know who that is. Defensive rookie, Pittman's going to take it home. Herrera at seven as well. Let's see the safety. Pittman has X Factor and Herrera has Superstar. Awesome. Seven XP, so he'll be an 85 after one year. And we still have the playoffs to go. Let's upgrade the team. Let's go week by week. So we are a 95. Oh, no, we're a 90 overall team. A 95 offense, 85 defense, playing against an 82 overall team. So we should be able to beat them. We did 31-24. Now we're playing against a 91 overall team. We're still higher. Still have a way better offense. Defense, not so much. But we beat them. And now the 14-3 Tampa Bay Buccaneers to make it to the Super Bowl. I think we can do that. I think we can get the job done. No, we can't. Great. 31-24. Who's the quarterback? Elton Price. Obviously, we don't know who that is, but three touchdowns. Prescott, 267, 2-1. Two 
Jones, nothing. Touchdown Price and Prescott, the quarterbacks running around. Elliott, 78 yards. Touchdown Fahoko. Touchdown Farris. Touchdown Gesicki. Ronald Jones and Chris Goblin. Will you look at that? The Steelers took down the Tampa Bay Buccaneers 27-22. Pete Walker, Super Bowl MVP. I want to take one more look at our team before we end this video because we drafted a lot of great players. I don't know really what went wrong. So we drafted once this loads up. Of course, we drafted the center and the left guard and Tiller and Barton. We drafted Bush, technically. We drafted Potts. On defense, though, that's where we made a lot of draft picks. Judge, Griffith, Pittman, Herrera. We drafted Spillman. We drafted Gilmore. So really, like, let's be honest. Spillman probably should have been at least a star development or above. So just a lot of great players. It just can't get the job done. I don't, I don't know. I don't like it at all. But that is going to be it for this video. Let me know what team you want me to do down in the comments below next. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Check out my second channel, Headstrong Sports. And I'll see you next time.